from down dog, knees down, tabletop, and then lower all the way to the earth for cobra, hug your elbows back. We'll untuck the toes and the legs are long. Press your feet down and inhale, lift your heart, cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Soft gaze past your nose. Maybe your eyes are closed. Just feel what's happening in your body. Notice what's going on in your breath. And you lift a little higher as you press your belly down. Activate your quads, lift your knees. One more inhale. Exhale, release to your mat. And come back up tabletop to your knees. Downward facing dog. Nice, inhale, soften your knees, look at the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Trace the backs of your legs, inhale all the way up to standing, palms come to glutes. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, mountain sweep up. And exhale, fold halfway, grab the backs of your legs. Stay, inhale, halfway. Exhale, slide down, fold. Slide up halfway, inhale, long spine. And exhale, down dog. Nice, so from this beautiful down dog, inhale to your knees, shift slightly forward, and exhale to your forearms. So we're coming to a supported forearm plank. Building some strength here, elbows are under the shoulders. Soften your shoulders back and try to widen them apart. And we wanna really pull the belly in and up here. Oh boy, even with knees down, this forearm plank is very much fire. <laughs> Long spine, so avoid any rounding here. Breathe. Actively pressing your palms, your forearms, your elbows down, getting that lift. Keep pulling belly to spine. Knitting your ribs in so we're not flaring out. Breathe. One more inhale. One more exhale. Child's pose. Press yourself up and back. Rounding through the back a little bit. Softening. Forehead to the earth. And if you're like me right now, have a little bit of congestion, you might keep one arm long and your other arm becomes a pillow for your forehead. Just that little bit of lift can help wonders on a congested, clogged head. <laughs> and inhale back to tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice, one more time through sun A. Inhale, soft knees, look forward. Exhale, walk forward, fold. Grab the backs of your legs, slide up, inhale, mountain. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, hands at heart. Inhale, mountain, sweep up. Exhale, fold in half, capturing the backs of your legs. Stay here, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide down, fold. Inhale, slide up halfway. Exhale, down dog. Down dog, inhale to your knees. So shifting slightly forward. Exhale that forearm plank one more time. You can choose to stay supported like before. If you wanna fire it up just a little bit more, toes tucked, lift your knees into forearm plank. We'll be here for about six rounds of breath. Full breaths, actively looking down, actively pressing down. Inhale. Exhale. Just two more breaths, you've got this. Breathe in. And out. Last inhale. Exhale. Child's pose, knees down. Press it back, relax and breathe. Child's Pose, Balasana is a great recovery place. It's a great resting space. 
that's always there for you in any and all of your yoga practices when you need. Let child's pose be an invitation for you to come to it whenever you want. And inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog. <laughs> Very nice. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's come into some, some more active movement. Inhale to your knees, tabletop. Yep, and we're going to take the right leg back, just like in our bird dog, except without lifting. We're going to cross the midline over to the left. You might actively look to your left, seeing your foot past your shoulder, and think of stretching out that right side body. So breathe in here. As you exhale, bring the toes and the knee all the way towards the right arm, and then see if you can elongate your toes out, maybe tapping towards the top of your mat, getting a long leg. We're going to flow that a couple of times. So inhale, sweep back across the midline all the way towards the left side. Exhale all the way towards the top right of your mat. Tapping your toes, inhale to that left side. Exhale to the top right. Last time, inhale to that back left. And exhale to the top right. We're gonna plant the foot in a wide low lunge with the back knee down. So plant your foot, shimmy your hips to square them off forward. You might elongate your back leg back just a little bit more. We're gonna stay right here with palms under shoulders, lizard lunge. Try to soften the shoulders down your back. If you have blocks, you might choose to come to your forearms or even your palms on those blocks right here. And if it's accessible for you, you might lower to one or both forearms on your mat, keeping the elbows under your shoulders. And you have the option to come flat down or maybe you take your right palm to that right thigh and gently press open to the right side, softening your shoulders from your ears, looking up and over to that right side as well. And if you have this little bit of an opening in the right hip, we want to come back to our palms and plant the right foot. So we have squared hips. And keep your left palm under your left shoulder. Bend your back knee up. You might use a strap here and only add this on if it feels good in your body. Take your right palm back and capture the top of your foot. It's a little gentle quad stretch. And any bit of movement here is fine. You can shimmy kind of forward and back or sideways or even kind of lift and lower the hips a little bit. Softly easing into the quad muscle, bringing that heel gently towards your glute. If there's ever any tension on the knee, just release the shape. One, two, and three. Softly release your knee, plant your right palm, take it back to tabletop pose. And same step on the other side, friends. So take your left leg back, Cross the midline, look over to that right side, breathe in. Exhale, tap towards the top left edge of your mat with your toes. Inhale, sweep it all the way back, cross the midline, that left side body stretch. Exhale, tap towards the top of your mat. Inhale, cross the midline. Exhale to the top. And last time, cross the midline, breathe. And wide low lunge at the top left side. Square your hips and shoulders, elongate your back leg as needed. Lizard lunge with the back knee down. And again, you can come to blocks or forearms. Maybe that right forearm comes under your elbow or shoulder rather, and your left palm might open up that left thigh just a little bit. Movement is always good, so coming back to that freedom of movement, you have the freedom of choice of movement in your practice. And then coming back to planted palms under the shoulders, squared shoulders and hips as well. Hinge forward so you're on the top of the knees, so you're not actually on your patella, but you're on the bottom of the quad muscles, the very top of where the knee is. With or without a strap, you can take your left palm back, capture the top of your foot, 
And give yourself some quadricep loving. A little bit of movement here. I like to engage my inner thighs and kind of squeeze them together, getting a lift, and then softly melt back down. For three, two, and one. Gently release your back knee, plant your palms, tabletop pose, tuck those toes, breathe in, downward facing dog.